when the first accuser came forward in early November to accuse Dustin Hoffman of sexually harassing her when she was a 17-year-old film intern, the film legend said that such disrespectful behavior is not reflective of who I am. Even after a second woman claimed that she, too, had been sexually harassed by one of America's most celebrated actors, he took umbrage at anyone's suggestion that he doesn't have the utmost respect for women. In a contentious public discussion with HBO host John Oliver last week, the two-time Academy Award winner argued that he understood the day-to-day -day challenges that women face in a sexist society and that's why he chose to star in 1983's Tootsie, playing a man who masquerades as a middle-aged woman. But Hoffman, 80, may be running out of excuses and defenses now that at least five more women have alleged in a new report that he behaved in a disturbing and sexually predatory way. Two of the women told The Hollywood Reporter that they were teenage girls when Hoffman exposed himself to them, while a third said the actor forced her to give him oral sex in the Watergate Hotel in Washington, D.C., where he was staying while filming All the President's Men in 1975. The alleged incidents described to The Hollywood Reporter and Variety occurred in the 1970s and 1980s, when Hoffman was at the height of his career, starring in some of America's most iconic films and earning his two Academy Awards. Since November, a total of eight women have so far claimed Hoffman harassed or molested them. A very different picture of Hoffman has emerged in recent weeks, one that stands in stark contrast to the sympathetic characters he plays on film, The Hollywood Reporter said. The first allegation came in early November when writer Anna Graham Hunter wrote in an essay in The Hollywood Reporter that she endured a steady stream of gropes, lewd comments and demands for foot rubs when she was 17 and worked for Hoffman as an intern on the set of the TV movie adaptation of Death of a Salesman. Then came an interview in Variety in which once struggling playwright Wendy Riscatzianis said that Hoffman made sexually suggestive comments and propositioned her while she was pitching a film project to him in 1991. Riscatzianis was then in her 20s and Hoffman, then 53, was coming off a second Academy Award win for Rain Manitoba. In the new report in The Hollywood Reporter, published Thursday, Playwright Corey Thomas said she was a 16-year-old student when she became friends with Hoffman's daughters. At the time, Hoffman was fresh off his first Oscar for playing a sensitive single father in Kramer vs. Kramer. He had also solidified his place in the film canon with starring roles in The Graduate and All the President's Men. But in his personal life, Hoffman was in the process of divorcing his first wife, Anne Byrne. After taking Thomas and one of his daughters out to dinner, the daughter returned to her mother's home. Hoffman suggested that Thomas accompany him to his hotel where he was staying, he said her mother could pick her up there. Once in Hoffman's hotel room, Thomas said the actor disappeared into the bathroom to take a shower.